obviously the talk of the weekend was the new package. Um, you know, what did you feel in practice yesterday? Obviously, you guys had 50 minutes. You know, did you notice anything different? Is this 2023 or 2024? I still can't tell. I think it's 2023. Feels like 23. So there's your answer. <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix and you know maybe the more I think about it now like the tires are falling off a little bit more but it doesn't feel any different you know it uh, feels kind of the same to me so hopefully it'll fall off even more throughout the race the grooves will widen out a little bit we'll see but right now it kind of feels the same you think are you looking obviously at the bottom here has been sort of a struggle especially in one and two to like pass because the top yeah, yeah. is obviously really difficult yeah. are you are you in are you excited to maybe try out the bottom and you know see how well it widens out? I've always been like catfish. I've always been a bottom feeder. Mm -hmm. um, so the more simple it is, the easier for me. Um, but yeah, I think you just have to adapt to the conditions, to the racetrack, to track temperature, all these things, all these different you know variables um, you have to think about and put in your notebook to uh, to figure out where to be at the right time. Thank you. Yeah. Have you compared notes uh, with Tyler at all? He seemed to have a lot more problems with it than you did. What did you guys as a team looked at or thought about? You must not know Tyler. <laughs> no, I don't. I just met him right now. <laughs> well, there you go. You got hit Tyler in a nutshell. <laughs> Our car's pretty good. He's fine. <laughs> uh, no, Tyler's, Tyler, uh, you can call it overanalyzing, but uh, he takes everything to the extreme and, and wants to figure it out, so I respect that 100%. It's a, uh, it's a different mindset than I have. You know, I try not to overcomplicate things, not saying that he does, but, you know, I try to focus on the big areas and, and deal with the rest. And uh, I feel like he's like, you know, I want to fix the temperature outside. And it's like, bruh, get out of your control. <laughs> hey, how would you compare uh, your filming skills to Bob's based off of the oh, uh, Holy cow, let my man breathe. <laughs> When I seen the video, I watched it the first time, and I, I, I kind of noticed it, noticed it, and then I went back and watched it. I'm like, I mean, my man's camera's right here. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good read, though. Over the years, what have you learned most racing here, given that, you know, this isn't one of your, you know, your top tracks, but yeah. what, what, what's, what's the biggest gain you want to make here that will help you tomorrow? Well, we look at, look at um, the fall of last year and qualified fifth. Had a really good stage one kept losing some spots on pit road it kind of put us back to the 10th position and that's where we finished um but before then you wouldn't really have anything to brag about but we had a big notebook to build off of of, of the fall and so then we come here yesterday and we're eighth on the board and fastest 10 lap and top five after 15 you know no it's like we've, in the back we've got it the figured out a little bit not all the way um but i think we just keep taking the right strides i keep giving the best communication that i can Booty and the guys really just put their heads in the computer and figure out what we need to do. I think it'll eventually click for us, but I feel good about our chances. Our speed is there. It's There's no reason why we can't go out and get a win tomorrow. This is Daniel Hemrick, driver number 11, Collar Grits Chevrolet. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, check out one of those two videos beside me. Visit frontstretch.com for more racing content.